we're going to get this wheel off. Oh, okay. That sucker's heavy. Now, typical deal, high mileage F-150, and he had a recent brake job. Problem is, he's got low, low frequency groans and moans and squeaks, and most brake jobs come back because of that. You do a brake job, it's very rare that the car does not stop. Um, and there are ways to fix this problem, and I want to show you that on the tabletop, but first thing what we do is go ahead and take this caliper so we can get into the nuts and bolts. All right, we got everything off. We got our caliper off. That was just a couple of bolts. That was easy. Pull these old clips. We've got the uh, rotor off. And now you can see the parking brake, which is inside of the hat, which is a great way to package it. A yeah. lot of vehicles are doing that now. Yeah, it's like an old drum style, right? The shoes push against the inside of the rotor hat. Yeah. It's super simple. I've got our pads here. They look like they're in really good shape. I mean, they look like they've barely been used. The only thing I did notice is that uh, rotor was really stuck on. So it's a nice tip we've used around here a lot is putting a little bit of anti-seize yeah. on there so you can get it off easy. Or the next guy. Yeah, get it the off next easy. guy. Be, be nice guy <laughs> to the next guy. Exactly. Well, everything was in great shape. So we've still got these squeals and moans. And again, as Brian said, these aren't from, you know, the brakes not functioning properly. You've got a noise input. You've got sliding things, right? Mm -hmm. Engines make noise, you put mufflers on them. Brakes make noise, you put mufflers on them, right? right. So we've got new hardware mm -hmm. all the way around, which is going to be great. But even these new sliders have some upgrades on them. Yeah, let me show you the original. And the way this would ride is right here. And you can imagine them kind of tapping on each other. You flip it over and see the difference in the new Carlson and the old one. There's actually a little coating in there, nitro polymer coating. That's going to help quiet it down, like putting a little thin blanket inside of it. Yeah, it's like sound deadener that you put underneath the body of your car. Mm -hmm. It's the same kind of idea. You're absorbing more of those vibrations. So sure. less of them are going to get transmitted into the air into your ear. <laughs> so an easy way to take a real nice brake job, you throw 10 or 20 bucks, you put all new hardware on it, everything slides properly, your pads retract so you don't wear out. Great way to knock those high frequency noises down. Now we're going to go in there and we're going to redo you know, the brake hardware for the parking brake. That's mm -hmm. something everybody overlooks. And a lot of times, on an automatic car, it never gets used, so that stuff just sits there. <laughs> it corrodes, and maybe it gets used once, and then it doesn't retract properly, and you're dragging your parking brake around. Or you overuse it, you know, by pulling it really hard around a corner. Well, yeah. Not that anybody would do no, that. No, we would never do that. <laughs> so we're going to do the parking brake as well. And what's really cool is we got low frequency noises to deal with, too. Now, a lot of times on rear caliper brakes, you'll get sort of a moan or groan. That, Kind of like parking lot kind of maneuvers. Sometimes on these, maybe a cold or wet day, it'll you know accentuate those those noises, and there's not much you can do about it besides adding technology. These are cool. This is a really cool bit. So this is actually the caliper bolt. It's got a little. Here's the stock one we took you know, out. So it's got a stud end on it, and what this is is a mass damper. So there's a mass here, and inside, if we can pull this cover off, yeah, you can see there's a silicone spring combination damper. So this will vibrate, you know, at the right frequency, about 250 hertz, and absorb it's those amazing. groaning frequencies. It's amazing like how picky we are today, that even on a pickup, we're mad because there's just that little bit of vibration. Yeah, I'm you in know? the parking lot, and there's a little more. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> but what's cool is a lot of vehicles, European vehicles, and even modern vehicles, are starting to come out with this technology. So mm -hmm. this is actually a FOMOCO Ford part mm -hmm. going on the like 2011 and 12s. There's a lot of vehicles that have them on it. Well, since this vehicle has the same caliper set up, we can retrofit it back, take care of another one of those little noise issues. Yeah, right. perfect, super simple. So I think at that point, we're ready to get into the uh, rebuild of the parking brake. So yeah. let's get that started. I'm gonna start on the other side. Now, Carlson already includes some lithium grease, which is nice. I'm gonna put them on here, and then the pad will slide back and forth nice and easy. This job's just about done. Last piece to put in are slider bolts that are replacing the originals. So those will just screw into the back. Now, there's only one dampener. This is the low frequency dampener we talked about before. That's gonna go right onto that once you torque it up, so that's nice. There's only one on the top, not on the bottom, per the instructions, so that's good. Now, if you're, you can see, replacing all these components is not hard while you're here. Replacing the springs, replacing the bushings, replacing the clips, all makes a big difference in the end of having a full quality brake job. So if you're doing it yourself, 
go ahead and do the next step. It's only about 20 bucks worth of materials. If you're having someone else do it, a nice kit like this one from Carlson Quality Brake Parts is gonna finish the job right and make sure that you and the customer are happy in the end. Now we gotta take a break right now. When we get back, we're gonna have some Nerd Bird. We're gonna have some cool tools, so don't go anywhere.